One of the best offensive linemen in school history, Mark King was a two-time All-American and two-time All-Gulf South Conference center during his tenure with the Trojans from 1973 to 1974. A native of Tallahassee, Florida, King helped lead Troy to a Gulf South Conference championship during his first season as he anchored an offensive line that paved the way for Troy's running backs to average more than four yards per carry. The Trojans ranked among the Gulf South leaders in total offense, rushing offense, passing offense, and scoring offense. He was named to the Associated Press All-America First Team following the 1973 season, in addition to earning Gulf South First Team honors, twice being named the United Press International National Lineman of the Week, serving as Troy's team captain, and earning the Capital City Bowl's Sportsmanship and Leadership Trophy. The success continued the following year as King was named to the NAIA All-America First Team and the Associated Press All-America First Team for a second straight year. King transferred to Troy from the University of Florida following his sophomore season where he was rated as the fourth best offensive center in the country by a prominent magazine. A semi-finalist for the NCAA Postgraduate Scholarship following his senior season in 1974, King was a member of the Omicron Delta Kappa National Leadership Honor Society and was a nominee for the Gulf South Conference Commissioner's Trophy. Following his playing career, King played for the Kansas City Chiefs in the National Football League and then coached high school football in the state of Alabama for six years. He joined the Marine Corps at the age of 28 and following a distinguished 28-year career, King retired at the rank a full colonel. I made the decision, the Lord helped, you know, was guiding me all this time. That I want to go to a smaller school where I could finish my education. And, and uh, I, I, in those days, transferring was harder. You know, you couldn't do it like you do now, I don't think. I went back and talked to my high school coach, my line coach, Coach Whitey Smith, who was my track coach too. And uh, he, uh, he said, well, what about Troy? He said, hey, man, he played pretty good football. He said, I was up there and went to a game. And he said, why don't you go? Why don't you go visit? I said, okay. And I came up and met Coach Jones and, and just fell in love with the place. The rest is, the rest is kind of history. My first kiss with uh, my wife of 45 years now, Carolyn, on the steps of Pace Hall in September 1973, and that's a memory I'll never forget. And we had talked about getting married, and uh, I said, "Look, I'm I'm kind of crazy with football." She tell the story, said, "I would not marry. I refuse to marry before football season got over." So, my second year here in 1974, we we got married November 30th, 1974, and. and uh, God has really blessed me because she's, she's not just the best woman I know, the best person I know. But after, uh, after I coached several years, I had the feeling again, kind of like I did earlier, that uh, before, you know, I didn't want to wake up and be 50 years old and still have to win on Friday night, to be honest with you. I just, uh, I never really intended to be a coach. I was blessed by it. Don't misunderstand me. I love my players. And I was interested in the Marine Corps. My uh, my first cousin was, was already in the Marine Corps as an officer, uh, and uh, always respected respected the Marines. But it, it can kind of goes back to some of the camaraderie I talked about at Troy. I miss so much the camaraderie of the of the team and being part of it and being a participant, you know, in the in the tough physical business of playing football and I miss that, to be honest with you. And I think that was what appealed to me about the Marine Corps and the Marine Corps delivered on the, on all that. I gotta mention one player that uh, that I want to mention and that's Delane Lowe. Delane was a uh, a walk-on player here at Troy, and I met him when I first came. We got to be good friends. He was just 
we connected in a special way. Uh, our friendship, uh, Delane was, a, like I say, a walk on. He earned a scholarship. And, uh, we ended up really being good friends. He was the kind of player and person I wanted to be. You know, he gave every play 110%. He, was, he worked hard year round and a uh, great Christian man of character. And we went on to be great friends. Uh, Delane got multiple sclerosis. And what I want to share with you is what a blessing he was. During all this time, him battling some difficult life problems, he was always the same. He was that guy in, in the picture in Crampton Bowl with the big smile, always never complained, and just a great, uh, great witness of a, of a friend the Lord has blessed me with, like, like many friends, but he, he speaks to me, he speaks to the Troy spirit that I knew here, the camaraderie, the love for you know, each other, that we shared tough times together and worked hard, and, uh, you know, but he never quit, he never quit smiling. And when I was told about this honor I was gonna get, uh, the first person I thought of was, uh, honestly, was Delane.